Riva del Garda is a picturesque town located on the north end of Lake Garda. With colorful buildings, medieval towers and narrow alleyways, this is a wonderful place to go for leisurely stroll. The city center of Riva del Garda is small and easily walkable. It takes less than 10 minutes to walk from one end to the other and along the way you will wander through narrow, colorful streets, past piazzas and promenades and the medieval towers and gates. Two medieval city gates still stand in Riva del Garda, Porta San Marco and Porta di San Michele. With a beautiful historic center where Austrian and Italian influences meet and mix, several sprawling beaches and a year-round program of events, Riva del Garda is an elegant destination that offers the best of Italian lake life. Surrounded by tall, jagged mountains and right on the edge of the sparkling blue lake, Riva del Garda is a must-see in northern Italy. It enjoys a mild microclimate and it's a heaven for people who like to keep active. Hiking, sailing and windsurfing are the order of the day here. At the same time, Riva del Garda has several landmarks to keep you busy sightseeing over a couple of days. Its streets are dotted with eateries serving both Italian and Tyrolean dishes and desserts. Town-wide festivals and markets add to the lively spirit of the place. Throughout history, the town has been ruled by many different powers, from the Scaligers of Verona and then the Republic of Venice to the Austro-Hungarian Empire. As you can imagine, this has created a melting pot of architectural styles. The historic center of the city is the best place to see how it all has come together organically. Surrounded by tall, jagged mountains and with streets flanked by multi-story houses painted in yellow, orchy and green, the historic center here is a lively place. As you walk around, little details stand out. A historic coat of arms attached to a century-old wall, a frescoed top floor of a building, a balcony with countless spots of plants and flowering shrubs. The mountain tops peak at the end of each street. Water trickles and gushes from the town's many fountains. Locals and visitors pop in and out of the many shops and eateries, cross the large sunlit squares, head to the nearby beaches. Here are some of the most interesting sites and places to see in the historic center of Riva del Garda. Terme Romane Excavated remnants of the thermal baths that the Romans has built here in the 1st century AD. Quartiere del Marocco this is the oldest preserved part of the historic center of Riva del Garda. It dates back to the Middle Ages. The large houses here stand against the slopes of Mount Rocheta. The name Morocco comes from the local word for pebble, stone or rock. Palazzo Municipale Built towards the end of the 15th century, this has been Riva del Garda's Civic Assembly Hall since 1492. You will find this large and imposing historic building on the main Piazza Tres Novembre. Fragments of the frescoes that once decorated the exterior of the palazzo can still be seen on its facade today. Piazza Tres Novembre a beautiful sunlit square in the heart of the historic center. Surrounded by lavish hotels, historic buildings and busy restaurants, it's a lovely place to sit and take it all in. In the past, this is where the town's fairs were held four times a year. The 34 meters high Torre Aponale dominates the square. Opposite it, you will see the historic Palazzo Municipale. Piazza del Erbe, 
A large and beautiful square in the style of the Italian Renaissance piazzas. It has a circular fountain at its heart. The square was built after the First World War. It replaced a group of houses that had been heavily bombed and had to be completely demolished. Piazza Cavour, a large square next to the church of Santa Maria Assunta. In the past, it was used for civic assemblies and hosted the town's market. Piazza Catena, this rectangular square flanks Riva del Garda's historic harbor. Head to it if you want to take the ferry to a nearby lakefront town. There are several interesting churches in Riva del Garda. Visiting them will give you a better understanding of the history of this pretty town. Among the most beautiful churches in Riva del Garda are Church of Santa Maria in Violata. Built in 1603, this is considered to be the most important Baroque church in the whole of Trentino. Church of Santa Maria Assunta, an imposing Baroque church built in 1728 on the site of a medieval church in the Romanesque and Gothic architectural styles. Church of Saint Roche. This church was built in the 16th century and it fulfilled an oath made by the inhabitants of Riva del Garda during a devastating boat of the plague in 1512. Centuries ago, Riva del Garda had one of the most important harbors on Lake Garda. A constant stream of boats brought goods from the town of Desenzano Tarbole and Lazise. Wool, wood, cereals, ceramics, and even cattle. For hundreds of years, the flow of goods never stopped. The harbor stands adjacent to the historic center of the city. Nowadays, it's a great place to go for a walk, to hire a pedalo, or to catch a ferry. Farther away from the historic center and just past Riva del Garda's beaches, you can also visit Porto San Nicolo. Dozens of sailing boats moor here. If you want to rent a boat or a yacht for the day, this is the place to head to. There are also several spots in and around town offering breathtaking panoramas from above. Bastione and Funicular. The Bastione is an early 16th century fort that stands above Riva del Garda on the slopes of Mount Rocheta. A brand new panoramic lift transports you from the town's historic center up to the fort. The views are breathtaking and you can continue to enjoy them from the bar and restaurant which nowadays operates inside the Bastion. Mount Brione this is the rocky hill that separates Riva del Garda from the neighboring town of Torbole. A hiking path leads from Riva del Garda to the summit of Mount Brione. Up there you can enjoy fantastic panoramic views of Lake Garda. The Chapel of Santa Barbara. This is a tiny chapel built in 1925 at a height of 620 meters. You can glimpse it from the historic center. It's like a dot on the lush slopes of Mount Rocheta. Riva del Garda is also home to some of the nicest lake beaches. Among the most popular are Spiaggia dei Sabioni, Spiaggia dei Pini and Spiaggia di Navene. If you like to experience fun and lively Italian events and festivals, here are some of the most important ones. Jump in the Canal, a lively festival held over two or three dates in summer. People flock to the small park next to the Rocha di Riva to listen to music, dance and jump in the canal. Garda Jazz Festival, a famous jazz festival held in the first half of August at different locations around the northern extremity of Lake Garda. Note di Fiaba, 
a weekend in August dedicated to the most favorite stories and fair tales for children. Expect theatrical performances, creative workshops and a large fireworks display. Sailing events. Riva del Garda hosts several sailing events each summer. Along them stand out the Riva Cup and Melgis 24. Garda con Gusto, a gourmet experience held over three days in November. Here you can taste some exquisite food and wine from local producers and celebrated chefs. The combination of geography and history of the city has resulted in some truly delicious local dishes and foods. Here are some traditional for Lake Garda foodstuffs and some traditional for Riva del Garda dishes and desserts to taste. Extra virgin olive oil. Fresh fish from the lake. The lake waters steam with fish from common carps and eels to brown trots and even pikes. The local restaurants serve a large variety of fish dishes. You can also try black truffles, peaches, kiwi, citrus fruits, chestnuts, goulash trentino, the local version of the traditional Hungarian goulash, loganica sausage, strudel, etc. Ha <laughs> ha